today I am doing a courgette lasagna. So I've never done this before, uh, but it seems quite exciting, so I thought I'd give it a go. So first thing we need to do is to make a tomato sauce. So for that I've got four tomatoes and we're going to cut them in half and put them onto a baking tray. And also on the bacon tray, we're going to add one clove of garlic. It's still got its skin on, uh, so we're just going to crush it slightly and put that on. And a sprig of rosemary, so we'll put that in as well. And then we're going to drizzle over half a tablespoon of olive oil. We're going to season with some salt and pepper. And this is then going in the oven at 200 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Next up, while we're waiting for the tomatoes to cook, we are going to cook the filling. So we've got in a pan, I'm going to add 10 grams of low fat marge and on a low heat I'm going to add one leek which has been sliced into rings. You're going to season with some salt and pepper. And then we're going to let this cook for 7 to 10 minutes until the leeks are soft. Okay, once the leeks have softened, we are going to add 250 grams of grated courgette. And also 50 grams of baby spinach. Now, I've actually used frozen, so as I've defrosted it, it is already cooked. So I'm just going to cook off the courgette for two minutes, and then we'll add the spinach. Okay, I'm going to add the spinach as well. If you cook in fresh spinach, you'd want to put a lid over it while you were cooking that, because uh, that will then help the steam to wilt the spinach. But I'm just going to mix the cooked spinach through. There we go. Right, now we're going to put this aside and let it cool down and we'll get back to the tomatoes. Okay, so there's the tomatoes done. So I'm going to put the tomatoes into my pot for my hand blender. If you're doing a bigger batch, I'd probably say to use a food processor, but this should be fine in the blender. Right, so that's that in there. And then we don't want the rosemary. And if we peel off the skin of the garlic, we'll 
plop the garlic in as well. Alright, and then you just want to um, pulse it a couple of times just so you get a thick, um, chunky sauce. So here we go. There we go. Okay, so let's start putting this together. So the first thing we need is a bit of tomato sauce on the bottom. I did forget um, you should add um, a teaspoon of caster sugar to the tomatoes to bring out the flavour. So I put some on the bottom and then layer up with lasagna sheets. Now they reckon you'll need five lasagna sheets, so we'll see. Let's see if we can break it. Okay. And then some of the veg. Um, 125 grams of ricotta, so I'm just going to break some of that up into there. I'm going to put about half of it into this layer. There we go. And then I think we'll go with a another layer of lasagna and then the rest of the tomato sauce and some more veg rest of the ricotta and then the other lasagna sheet Let's see if we can fit two on there this time there we go so that is the five lasagna sheets and then top again with the rest of the veg And then to top it off, I've got um, half a ball of mozzarella. I think it's about 65 grams. It's going to tear into chunks and put on top. And then also 25 grams of low-fat cheddar. Sprinkle that over. And now we're ready to cook. So this is going in the oven, still at 200 degrees for 
40 to 45 minutes. Wow, look at that. It smells amazing. Right, I'm going to get this dished up and we'll give it a try. Okay, let's give this a try then. get different flavours hitting you. Mm. That's a good one. Mm. I'll definitely be doing this one again. Well, that's it from me. Keep experimenting and have fun and I'll see you next time. Bye!